Hello everyone. Now let's discuss one question based on likelihood weighting. And this particular question was asked in gate DS sample paper. Okay. The sample paper released by IISC in 2024. From that I have taken this particular question. So let's discuss this. Consider a bias net containing four Boolean random variables A, B, C, D. And this is a network diagram given to us. So A equals to true and negation of A will be false. Okay, remember this point. And the probability is given to us with respect to this particular network, right? So this is basically a CPT, condition probability tables. And similarly for other variables, the CPTs for the nodes in the network are also indicated in the figure. Okay, so this is given to us. Now we have four samples here, S1, S2, S3, S4. And what we need to do? We need to find out the likelihood weight for each sample and thereby we need to estimate uh, this particular thing. So we need to find out the weight corresponding to the each sample. Okay, simple question what we have discussed up till now just apply that and thereby estimate negation of A, negation of C that is both are false. Now tell me what are the evidence here? Evidence variable is what? Negation of A and negation of C are my evidence. So in the video we have discussed about, we need to find out the evidence given parents probability for the particular sample. So if I consider sample S1, it is having negation of A, negation of B, negation of C, negation of D. Okay. And we are interested in negation of A and negation of C. So let's try to find out the weight for this corresponding sample. But before that, what is the joint probability for this particular network? Let's write it down here. For a given network, joint probability is what? First, node A, there is no incoming arrow. So I can find out the probability of A because A is independent into. Then I have B which is dependent on A. So I can write it down probability of B given A. Yes. Then A into probability of C. What C? C is dependent on B. So probability of C given B. Yes, that it is. Then what about D? Probability of D given B. So this is what the joint probability for this particular Bayesian network. Okay. Now we have a four sample for. Uh, given to us, we need to find out the weight corresponding to each sample, each sample, so for S1, right? Now, what is, now in sample S1, we have all four variables negation, so let me write it down here, sample is what, negation of A, negation of B, negation of C, and negation of D, and this is basically a probability of A, comma B, comma C, comma D, and these are the corresponding values of the variables. So the probability for S1, if I want to find out the weight based on the joint distribution, that will be what? Probability of negation of A into probability of negation of B given negation of A into probability of negation of C given negation of B into probability of negation of D given negation of B. Okay, so suppose negation of B. So based on this particular joint probability, by using this particular samples, we have finded out the corresponding weight for this particular samples. Now what we have discussed in the likelihood weighting is what? Given the evidence, okay, we need to find out the evidence given parents probability only. We have to consider this particular probability only. Evidence given parent, that's it. Rest all we are going to consider it as 1. So evidence is negation of A and negation of C. So I have to consider this one and this one. That's it, right? Because negation of C given parents, negation of A, it is independent. So that's it, right? So I have to consider these two probabilities. That's it. Now, for these two probability, we are considering equals to 1. Here it is equals to 1. Okay, 1, 1. This is also 1. Now, what is probability of negation of A? Probability of negation of A is what? 4 by 5 into probability of negation of C given negation of B. So, this table I have to use. Probability of C given B is there. But both negations, so this will be the case. That will be 3 by 5. That is equivalent to 12 by 25. 
that is basically nothing but 0 0.48 so the weight corresponding to the sample s1 is 0 0.48 similarly i can find out the s2 corresponding that is w2 for sample s2 that is negation of a b negation of c negation of d and here also same thing same formula but just but just we need to change this uh, given uh, thing according to a samples so what we have said in the pre so what we have done in the previous sample we have only considered these two things right these two things because anyway this will be one only for the given evidence right so for the rest of the samples i am only going to cover cover these two uh, things that's it right so for the weight two that will be probability of negation of a into what this thing probability of negation of c given now here we don't have negation of b instead of negation we have b here that is given b that's it so for a given sample we need to find it out so this will be the case for w2 and if you put the values again same thing 4 by 5 into probability of negation of c given plus b negation of c given plus b is what 2 by 5 that is basically 8 divided by 25 which is nothing but 0 0.32 this is for w2 now let's try to calculate for w3 for example 3 here that is negation of a negation of b negation of c and d is given to us right so w3 will be what probability negation of a and negation of c is what this one particular thing probability negation of c given here negation of b that is here negation of b for this sample so again same thing 4 by 5 into 3 by 5 that is 3 by 5 that will be 0 0.48 okay so this is for w1 w2 w3 and let's try to calculate for s4 as well so what will be for the s4 that is w4 here w4 is what let me use a different uh, pen let's say black w4 is what probability of negation of a into probability of negation of c given here b is positive that is b is positive so same thing as w2 4 by 2 4 by 5 into 2 by 5 is what 0 0.32 so w4 is 0 0.32 w3 is 0 0.48 w2 is 0 0.32 and w1 is 0 0.48 so here we have find it out the likelihood weight for each sample so i hope you understand how to find out the likelihood weight for each sample based on the given cpt and for the given bayesian network okay now let's try to find out the probability for this particular case now we need to estimate this one right so these are the options given to us in the question so here you can find out s1.48 s2.32 s3.48 s4.32 so this can be a possible option here this is not yeah this is also possible this is not possible and yeah this is also not possible so option a and option b can be a correct one but we but we need to find out the this probability so probability of b given negation of a negation of c so in that case what we need to do i can write it down like this probability of b negation of a negation of c given probability of negation of a negation of c like this okay but according to a likelihood weighting uh, sampling technique what we have to consider summation of summation of weight of all samples for given evidence okay for given evidence so evidence is what negation of a negation of c and if you see in all samples this is given to us sorry negation of a negation of c yeah in all samples this particular evidence are present so we need to consider all the four samples here then in the numerator is what summation of weight having b so given negation of a negation of c that is what we need to find out summation of weight 
having b in the samples okay out of those out of these samples we need to find out the samples in which b is there b is there means what positive b okay not negation positive b so if you look at the samples here okay so first i need to do a summation of all the samples because in all samples i have this evidence negation of a negation of c so that will be what 0 0.48 plus 0 0.32 plus 0 0.48 plus 0 0.32 but here what summation of weight having b summation of weight of samples of samples having b so if you see here let me erase that particular thing this one now we are interested in plus b only so not this one this one and this one so we have to consider s to s4 it means w to w4 it means w to w4 so that is what w2 and w4 so s to s4 is this one so 0.32 plus 0.32 that's it so if you do the calculation you will get uh, this one so 5 into 8 point so 0.5 plus 0.3 so 0 0.8 0 0.8 0 0.8 is what 1.16 so that is basically a uh, 64 divided by 160 and what we are going to get? 8 8s are 8 20s are 4 by 10, that is 0 0.4 as the answer. So, probability for this particular scenario is 0 0.4. So, option A is correct here. Okay. Simple question. I hope you understand how we have calculated the weight for a given samples. Okay. And this is how we can find out the probability for given thing. B given negation of A into negation negation of A negation of C. So we have to focus on the evidence part based on based on the evidence that is given thing. We have to find out the weight for S1, S2, S3, S4 that is for a given sample. And then we need to find out the probability using this particular scenario. Okay, using this particular formula. So whatever the samples having this particular thing, B, that is query. So B is query here. And this is basically evidence. So that we have to consider. So for example, S2 and S4. And then the divided by all the samples that is satisfying the given evidence. That's it. Okay. So in this way, we can get the probability for this particular thing using likelihood weighting. So the next year also, you can expect a question based on this. Either for one mark or two marks. So what they can do, they can change this particular diagram. According to diagram my joint probability will get changed they can change the tables or they can change the samples anything is possible but the method remains same this is how we can find out the weight corresponding to each sample and how to find out this particular probability i hope you understand this particular example so that's it from this particular video thank you